Welcome to iLecture Online. In previous videos, we've shown you that the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix multiplied times the determinant of another 2 by 2 matrix is equal to the determinant of the product of those two matrices. That was with 2 by 2 matrices. Here, we're going to show you that the same thing works for 3 by 3 matrices. We've already gotten the solutions because we've worked with these two matrices before. The determinant of matrix A, which is equal to 0, and the determinant of matrix B, which is equal to 24. Now we're going to find the determinant of the, the product of A and B, which means we first need to multiply the two matrices together. So when we take A times B, that is equal to the first matrix, Negative 1, one negative 2, one, 0, five. negative 2, and 3. And we're going to multiply that times the second matrix, 3, zero, 1, 3, 3, three, three. When we do that, again, we get a 3 by 3 matrix. And to find the first element up here, we multiply this row times the first column. That's minus 3, minus 4 is minus 7, plus 15, minus 7, plus 15, is plus 8. To get the second element, we multiply the first row times the second column. It's minus 1, minus 4 is minus 5, plus 15, minus 5 plus 15 is 10. And to get the third element, we multiply this row times this column. Minus 3 plus 0 plus 15 is plus 12. Now we go for the second row. Second row, first column. 3 minus 4 is a minus 1, minus 6 is minus 7. First row, second column. 1 minus 4, that's minus 3, minus 6 is minus 9. And second row, third column, 3 plus 0, still 3, minus 6 is minus 3. Now for the third row, we take this row and multiply times this column to get the first element. So that's 0 minus 8 plus 9. That gives us 1. For the second element, third row, second column, that's 0 minus 8 plus 9. That gives us 1. And finally, for the last element right here, third row, third column, we get 0 plus 0 plus 9. Now we're going to take the determinant of this product matrix, A times B, and it should equal the product of the determinant of A times the determinant of B it would be 0 times 24, or 0. So the determinant of this matrix should equal 0. Let's see if that's true. So we're going to take the determinant of the product, A times B, the two matrices, which is equal to the determinant of the product matrix, 8 minus 10, 10 12, 1, 1 9, 7, which is equal to, taking the first element, 8, times the minor matrix. These four elements right here are the minors, minor determinant. That would be minus 9, minus 3, 1, and 9. Minus, because we alternate signs, the second element, 10, times the determinant of these four that are left, because this and this gets crossed out, so it's minus 7 and 1, minus 3 and 9. And finally, plus 12 times, when we cross out this row and this column, we end up with those four elements, minus 7, minus 9 across the row, and 1, 1 across the second row, like this. Now let's go ahead and work that out and see what we get. This is equal to 8 times. Minus 81, minus a minus 3, that's plus 3. Minus 81 plus 3, that gives us minus 78. Here we get minus 10 times, minus 63 plus 3 is minus 60. And here we get plus 12 times minus 7 minus a minus 9, which is a plus 9, that would be plus 2. Okay, let's now head and simplify that further. This is equal to, well, 8 times 80 is 640, but minus 16, that would be 624 minus 624. This times this, that gives us a positive 600. And this times this gives us a positive 24. And notice when you add all those together, indeed, you will indeed get 
zero, which is what we get when we multiply the determinant of A times the determinant of B. Now, what we didn't show you in this video is that if you take the determinant of B times A, you should also get the very same result. You may want to try that and see if that works, but you'll find that the product of the determinant of A multiplied times the determinant of B, that is equal to the determinant of A times B, which is equal to the determinant of B times A. And again, it doesn't matter if it's a 2 by 2 matrix or a 3 by 3 matrix or a 4 by 4 matrix, that will always be the case. And that's how we can show you.